right next door, in the swirling shroud of our cosmic neighborhood, lies a world that is both a stranger and a sibling to our own. Venus enshrouded in a cloak of acid clouds and infernal heat, whispers secrets from its turbulent surface that could hold a mirror to Earth's distant past and possible future. What if by unraveling the veiled tales of this twin planet, we could unlock the chronicles of our own world's infancy and forecast its final chapters? Stay tuned as we embark on an interplanetary detective story, where Venus's hidden plate tectonics and mysterious hydrogen might just redefine life's boundaries in the solar system and beyond. Welcome to our channel, where curiosity meets discovery. Today, we're venturing into the enigmatic world of Venus, Earth's twin in size but not in conditions. We're diving into the latest findings that suggest a tectonic activity on Venus and the surprising role of hydrogen. You'll learn how these discoveries are shifting our perspective on the Venusian surface and its potential for hosting life. Plus, we'll reveal a surprising connection to Earth's own history. Let's embark on this interplanetary adventure together. Venus, often shrouded in mystery due to its dense atmosphere, is giving up secrets that challenge our understanding of planetary dynamics. Our first key point takes us into the heart of recent scientific breakthroughs, suggesting Venus has its own brand of plate tectonics. Unlike the well-studied mobile lid tectonics of Earth, where large plates move freely like rafts on the mantle's surface, Venus appears to exhibit a stagnant lid tectonics, where the crust is not broken into numerous moving plates but instead consists of a single spherical shell. Imagine the surface of Venus like a colossal puzzle where the pieces are glued together, not drifting apart. However, this does not mean Venus is geologically dead. Thanks to advanced radar imaging from orbiting spacecraft, we see evidence of tectonic movement. These images reveal structures resembling those formed by tectonic activity on Earth, such as mountain ranges, grooves, and belts that resemble folded geological layers. But here's the twist, the movement on Venus is thought to be more akin to the slow churning of a thick porridge, a process called subduction. On Earth, subduction zones are where one plate slides under another. On Venus, it's hypothesized that the planet's hot, dense atmosphere could be driving a slow-motion version of this process, with the surface material recycling itself in a sluggish yet significant way. What causes this movement? Venus's interior is hot enough to encourage the mantle to convect, but the crust does not crack into plates as it does on Earth. Instead, the crust may form temporary microplates that push against each other, creating highland plateaus before fusing back together, a phenomenon that could be referred to as episodic overturn. This concept challenges our definition of plate tectonics, as it suggests that tectonic activity can exist in more forms than we see on our home planet. It opens the door to understanding how different conditions might lead to diverse geological processes in extraterrestrial worlds. By studying Venus's tectonic activity, we gain insights into the past and potential future of Earth's geological evolution, as Venus and Earth are similar in size and composition, but have taken very different paths. Understanding why Venus developed its unique form of plate tectonics can shed light on the divergent evolutionary roads of rocky planets. Transitioning from the rigid surface of Venus, we delve into its thick atmosphere, where the mysteries of hydrogen await our understanding. Here in the dense clouds, scientists have discovered peculiar fluctuations of hydrogen that hint at complex chemical processes and potentially even life. On Earth, hydrogen is part of the water molecule, vital for life as we know it. It's also present in vast quantities across the universe, often a sign of chemical reactions taking place within stars and planets. On Venus, the story of hydrogen is even more compelling because of what its presence implies about the planet's past and present chemistry. The detection of hydrogen in varying concentrations in different parts of Venus' atmosphere suggests ongoing reactions. These variations may be due to volcanic outgassing, photochemical reactions high in the atmosphere, or even, as some daring hypotheses suggest, biological processes. The concept of microbial life in the clouds of Venus isn't new. Since the discovery of phosphane, a potential biosignature gas, researchers have speculated about the existence of extremophiles in Venus's atmosphere. These would be microorganisms that can withstand extreme acidity and temperatures. On Earth, hydrogen is a byproduct of microbial metabolism in some extremophiles. If similar life forms exist on Venus, they could be part of a cycle that releases and absorbs hydrogen. Moreover, hydrogen has another tale to tell on Venus, the story of water. 
Venus might have once had oceans, lost over aeons as the water molecules were broken apart by solar radiation, with hydrogen escaping into space. This loss likely contributed to the runaway greenhouse effect that makes Venus the hottest planet in our solar system. Today, the study of hydrogen on Venus is a gateway to understanding not just potential astrobiological processes, but also the dramatic climatic changes that turned Venus from a world possibly brimming with water to the inhospitable hothouse it is today. By unraveling the mysteries of hydrogen, we can piece together Venus's climatic history and ponder the pivotal role similar processes may have played on ancient Earth or could play on exoplanets orbiting distant stars. As we traverse the alien landscape of Venus and ponder the peculiarities of its hydrogen signature, we arrive at a broader perspective, comparative planetology. This discipline enables us to juxtapose the evolution of Venus with that of Earth, providing crucial insights into planetary development and the fate of worlds. Comparative planetology is akin to a cosmic detective work. Just as detectives piece together clues to solve a case, scientists analyze planetary features, atmospheres, and geological histories to understand how rocky planets evolve. Venus, with its extreme greenhouse effect and hostile surface conditions, is particularly intriguing because it started with so many similarities to Earth. By comparing Earth's active plate tectonics and dynamic climate to the stagnant lid tectonics and thick, CO2-rich atmosphere of Venus, we glean insights into how Earth could have developed under different circumstances. These comparisons extend to the hydrogen levels in Venus's atmosphere, which contrast with the stable hydrological cycle that sustains life on Earth. The climatic extremes of Venus also serve as a natural laboratory for studying the greenhouse effect. With surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead, Venus exemplifies the runaway greenhouse phenomenon. This is an invaluable case study for understanding climate dynamics and potential outcomes of unmitigated greenhouse gas emissions on Earth. Additionally, comparative planetology helps in the search for exoplanets with life-supporting conditions. By understanding why Venus veered into a hellish state while Earth fostered life, we can better assess the habitability of distant worlds that resemble either of our neighboring planets. In essence, Venus acts as a mirror reflecting potential pasts and futures of Earth, highlighting the delicate balance of factors needed for a planet to support life. This field doesn't just provide a context for understanding Venus and Earth, it expands our comprehension of the universe and our place within it. Lastly, we'll touch upon the implications for astrobiology. If Venus does indeed have tectonic activity and potential biological signatures, what does this say about life in the cosmos? Venus's harsh environment challenges our life as we know it paradigm, urging us to consider new possibilities in our search for extraterrestrial life. Lastly, we'll touch upon the implications for astrobiology, the findings from Venus, its tectonic activities, and the mysterious presence of hydrogen. Not only broaden our understanding of geophysical processes, but also beckon us to consider their profound astrobiological implications. Astrobiology is the study of life's potential in the cosmos, where scientists investigate the conditions that might support life and the signs or biosignatures that life could produce. Venus, with its extreme temperatures and acidic clouds, may seem an unlikely place to look for life. However, the recent discoveries suggest that we should keep an open mind. The possibility of tectonic movements on Venus introduces the prospect of geothermal energy sources that, like Earth's hydrothermal vents, could provide the necessary energy for life in an otherwise barren landscape. The cycling of gases, including hydrogen, which could be biological in origin, further stokes the curiosity of astrobiologists. It suggests the existence of unknown chemical and possibly biological processes occurring in the Venusian atmosphere. Moreover, if microbial life can indeed survive within the upper cloud layers of Venus, this finding would dramatically expand our understanding of the conditions that can harbor life, suggesting that life could take hold in a wider range of environments than previously believed. The study of Venus also has implications for the search for life on other planets and moons in our solar system and beyond. For instance, the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn, with their subsurface oceans, might similarly offer niches for life using chemical energy in the absence of sunlight. Discovering life or even the potential for life on Venus would imply that life might be more common and diverse in the universe than we ever imagined. In conclusion, the implications of Venus's tectonics and atmospheric chemistry for astrobiology are profound. They encourage us to rethink our criteria for habitable environments 
and to expand the scope of our search for life in the universe. Venus, once thought to be a dead planet, has now become a hobbit of questions and possibilities, challenging us to reimagine the potential for life in our solar system and beyond. In this deep dive into the complex world of Venus, we've explored the latest findings that illuminate the planet's geophysical and geochemical mysteries. From the potential presence of plate tectonics, manifesting in a way unlike anything seen on Earth, to the curious case of hydrogen fluctuations, suggesting active chemistry or even biological processes, these revelations compel us to look at Venus through a new lens. We've seen how Venus's plate tectonics could be reshaping its surface in a slow yet significant churn, ending at a planet that is geologically alive, against all odds. The detection of hydrogen variations in the Venusian atmosphere opens up discussions about possible volcanic activities, atmospheric chemistry, and even the tantalizing prospect of life in its acidic clouds. Through the practice of comparative planetology, Venus has served as a reflective surface for understanding Earth's past and future, providing a critical comparison that helps us learn about the delicate balance needed for a planet to support life. This comparison becomes even more crucial as we consider the implications for astrobiology. The implications of finding life or life-supporting conditions on Venus could radically shift our expectations for finding life elsewhere in the universe. Each of these key points intertwines, painting a picture of a planet that is not the Earth's twin in conditions, but is an essential counterpart in our quest to understand the dynamics of rocky planets. Venus's hostile environment challenges us to expand our definitions of habitability and compels us to consider how life might adapt to extreme conditions. The study of Venus stands as a testament to the relentless curiosity of humanity and our unending quest to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. As we summarize our exploration, we are reminded that every planet has stories to tell, and each of these stories has the power to alter our cosmic perspective. As we conclude our journey to Venus, we're reminded of the wonders waiting to be discovered within our own solar system. The key takeaway from today's exploration is that Venus, with its infernal climate and perplexing geology, may hold answers to age-old questions about Earth and life itself. If you're as intrigued by these revelations as we are, consider subscribing to our channel for more cosmic insights. Share your thoughts on these discoveries in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation going. Until next time, keep looking up and questioning beyond.